Okay, what I went ahead and did before coming back on is that we actually do have to separate this. Uh, when I did the legs, because it has socks on it um, and the pants are up a little higher, we, there's going to be a little bit of gap here. So what I did is I just took my knife and I'm still working on cleaning it up in between there. You need something that's relatively smaller like what we have here. Um, if you can find something that's smaller, um, that's what your detail knife is great for is to get in those little crevices and such. Um, I'm going to show you how I finished off the shoes so far and continue on the shoes. I went ahead and, and, and did the uh, scooping motion um, of this little shoe, okay, just like so. And I did it all the way across, okay. And what we're going to do is we're also going to um, start trimming it up in the back. So what we're going to do over here is we're just going to scoop this towards the ankle. Just like so. Okay? And the same thing over here. You know, you're, what you're doing is you're blending everything together. And, you know, giving everything a little bit of shape, which is good. You know, it finishes it off. It finishes it off very nicely. Now that needs to be just a tad rounder right there. So we're going to just trim that out a little bit. But you can see where it's going to be contoured to the uh, to the to the leg there. So we're just going to work our way to the leg. Same thing over here. All right, we're just doing everything to the leg, to that ankle, and the same thing in here, you're going to get your knife, um, now I'm holding it like a pencil, but because I don't, I'm not taking off a whole lot there, you're just going to kind of trim it up towards the ankle there, okay? The static electricity today is really driving me nuts. <laughs> Let me spray something here. Just real quick. Let me just spray this so that will help prevent some of that. And so we're going to round this off here. Now it's really soft to, to carve. Okay. You want to be careful. You don't want to go against the grain. You don't want to go uh, too much against the grain because you may chip part of it out. Now I'm going to give this these shoes a sole here. Okay, so we're going to put a little line like from the back here all the way over to the front. You know, all the way up to here. It's going to be a little difficult getting in there, folks. That's okay. Um, this will teach you how to use a real tiny knife. Now I'll try to get in there as, as close as possible there. And then the same thing over here. We're going to put another uh, line just to give us a guideline where to go. What we're going to do, you can use your V-tool. I know um, Gene uses a V-tool for this. I will just do it this way, put a stop cut all the way. And I find when I do it this way, I can do a straighter cut than taking the point and going across. Something I've kind of discovered along the way and, and found that um, my knife is straight, so you know, if you guide it in the right way. And we're just going to come up and chop a little piece out. Alright, just like that. We're going to go all the way around. I'm not sure yet about his buckle on his shoe. I'm going to do a little research on that before I finish that portion of it off. Okay. Um, I want that sole to, s so I'm just going from the top down, okay, I'm just going from this side down. Shoes will be black anyway. I think they're black. I think so. You can tell I'm not into leprechauns a whole lot, but it's a, it's been a fun project so far. It's uh, been challenging. Um, you know, we're doing some new things like the pants here and stuff. and. And uh, what you want to do here, find out where the heel is, which should be about here, and just put a little notch in on this side. 
Okay, just like so. See how his boot's coming out really nice? And you want to go across, and you can do that from the bottom and do the same thing there, put a little notch in. So they match. Alright, so you're going to do the other shoe the same way. And then we'll worry about the buckle portion a little bit later. What I want to do right now is to tell you, go back to the pants here. And we're just going to kind of round this off a little bit more. Okay. And remember, folks, what I told you when uh, we do relief carving, it's the depth that gives you the perception that it's deeper than it is. And that's exactly what I did here. I took a knife, went in pretty far, and just made a little more of a crease there and I'm just going to take this down a little bit like so all right I'm just going to turn it down a little bit just like that and all you're doing is rounding and taking off the rough stuff okay but we're going to go in a little bit right where that leg starts going up just like so all right just like that see how we have that all right and the same thing with the front we're just taking it out a little bit taking care of that corner just like that same thing here you can go a little deeper to give it the perception you know it's a little deeper than what it is all right and make sure you do both sides harder get in there with that pot of gold in the way and then we'll start on his arms and his and the last part up here all right so that's our our feet and our legs um, once we get this all I'm gonna start trimming this back portion off before we're out of time here and I'm just gonna trim everything up a little bit um, I know his Jacket's going to go up and around. We'll, we'll put that on a little bit here. In fact, I'll be right back to show you the rest. Bye-bye.